Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be taking you over a brand new WordPress plugin that we've developed and some of the features that it includes. Now to better help explain those features, I'm going to take you over to a presentation that we put together earlier this year and it was titled Google Rankings in 2017. In the document or in this presentation, we spoke about the Google Fresh Factor, which is also known as the Fresh Rank. And we spoke about Query Deserves Freshness, Documents Freshness and Related Document Freshness. So in short, guys, every document on the Internet has a freshness score. And the reason, sorry, and the reason every document on the Internet has a freshness score is because Google doesn't want to show out of date, stale content in the search engines. And they have various methods to determine a document's freshness. The document itself can indicate freshness or the documents related to a document can indicate a freshness too. And there's many other ways that a document uh, that Google can determine a document's freshness. So they can they can determine a document's freshness by the freshness by inception date, by changing your content, by the rate of document change, by the by new page creation, by rate of new link growth signals, by links from fresh sites past fresh value and so much more. So in this video, we're going to focus on one of the features of our main WordPress plugin, which works with the change in your content guys and gives you a freshness boost and keeps your freshness score high um, by automating the change in your content. So let's have a look what I've written down here. I've written search engines can score regularly updated content for freshness differently from content that doesn't change. So in this case, the amount of change on your web page plays a role. A small change such as navigation, date, time, tags, etc., won't impact as much as a change in your core document. In fact, guys, I don't think I even wrote this myself. Um, if my knowledge recalls properly, then we took this from a Google patent, which was known as information retrieval on historical data. Um, and Google outlines this themselves, guys. Why they don't want to show out of date content because it's stale content content guys and that's not what the user wants and what features and what kind of methods they put into position and in place to overcome those issues because that's a big problem for Google and one of them was fresh a uh, fresh factor guys so anyway if you haven't seen this video guys um, then come along and do watch the video it's really really cool okay we even speak about how does this affect your PBNs um, and we actually have a closer look at the patent itself as well so anyway let's come back over to our website guys um, so what I'm going to be showing you is how our new plugin works with um, the Google Fresh Factor in such a way that it allows you to automatically update your posts and it allows you to automatically create new pages as well on external sites that link back to your post as well, guys. So you're getting a freshness boost from both areas, from related documents linking to your post and from your page uh, from your post being updated itself. So anyway, I've got a post down here, guys. It's about 2000 words in length, guys. It's got images in here. It's using headings in here. It's nicely optimized. It's using alternative text, guys. Um, and let's just say, for example, I updated, I posted this today and in a couple of days time, we were ranking on the first page of Google. Now, let's just say, for example, in nine months time or in one, one year's time um, or in one and a half years time, um, we didn't update this document, we didn't create links to this document either, or this post guys, then would our position still be ranking, or would our article still be ranking high in Google? Now let's just say for example, this is still relevant in one and a half years time. Um, it doesn't need to be updated, um, but the answer is guys is um well firstly we don't know how google uh, how fresh your content needs to be to rank in google we can try and guess it and we can try and gauge it and i'll show you how just type in your main keyword in here so for example video marketing have a look at the results in Google um, and have a look at the actual dates they're showing. So, for example, 3rd of February 2017, 10th of October 2017, 5th of January 2017, 28th of January 2017, 28th of September 2017. And then you can try and average it out and gauge an inception date and gauge the kind of age that your content needs to be. Now, let's just say, for example, your article become one and a half years old and you know what? You lost the freshness score. You're not sending signals to Google um, that the document's still relevant because you're not updating it. 
it, it's just old in their cache. Um, you're not creating new links to this post, guys. Um, so you're not giving it a related document freshness boost. And at the same time, you might even be losing links, which is telling Google, well, you know what? Fewer sites are linking to this post now, or sites that were linking to this post are no longer linking to it, which means it's no longer relevant. We're gonna reduce the freshness factor and the freshness score. And in turn, you're gonna be ranking lower in the search engines. And you might have sites, guys, that I'll just put up the other day or after a couple of months or whatever um, and they've added content and it's not as good as your content however they're outranking you and the reason they're outranking you is because they've got a higher freshness score um, as opposed to yours being stale content or Google is looking at it now as stale content. So anyway, our latest plugin guys allows you to benefit from this and it does it in an automated way. And the way it does this guys is you'd add your article inside of here, a nice long article, the kind of article that you want to add in here. Now just remember guys, when you're making changes to your document, that it needs to be main changes to your core document, not small changes and not changes just to your sidebar and to small links and this and that. You wanna add images in there as well guys when you get this updated as well um, so our plugin allows you to do all this so let's just say for example um, we've added our article the way we want it to look now um, and let's just say we wanted this part here um, to be updated at a later date what we can do now is just highlight any part of the content that we want to be updated at a later date click on add short code replacement we can select a date so let's just say for example the 9th of December because today is the 9th of um, November um, and we'll say we wanted to be syndicated to all of these social sites as well um, and we want to use this image here for example um, you don't have to use an image you can use an image from your own main post as well if you wanted to um, and down here you can actually see an editor guys and in this editor we'll see all of the content that we highlighted um, on this post here okay and um, as you can see, it's all down here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on submit. And what's gonna happen now is um, the content has been taken away from our editor and it's been replaced with a short code, okay? And when I look down here, we've got a new short code down here. If I click on this guys, that it tells us that this content here that we've got inside of this editor here is gonna be updated onto our post on the 9th of December, 2017. And it's gonna be automatically posted to Tumblr, Twitter and Pinterest with our URL to this post as well, guys. What that means is in a month's time, this post has been scheduled um, it's got internal parts within the post that are now being scheduled for later date, guys. And at the same time, we're gonna get new links being created from these social sites as well. I can come down here, guys, I can say, okay, now I wanna take this whole area out and I want this whole area to be updated um, at a later date. Um, so again, we can see all of our content inside of the editor down here. Okay, um, we can come up here and we can say, okay, but this time I want it to be posted in, on January the 9th. So this is two months later and I want it to be syndicated to Tumblr and Twitter. I don't want an image added from my image library. Okay, you can actually go through your whole entire image library down here um, and just drag any image you want down here, guys, if you wanted to have that syndicated and that goes updated. And I'm gonna click on submit. What's gonna happen now, guys, is again, this has now been removed from our editor. Okay, as you can see, was this the one? No, that was the first one. Okay, here's the second one, guys. And if you have a look up here as well, you can see it says down here now on the 9th of January, 2018, we're gonna have this content added to our main post and it's gonna automatically be syndicated to Tumblr, Twitter, um, and whatever other sites we had. I can come down here, guys, and I can add, um, let's just say, for example, um, this whole area as well. Okay, and I'm gonna click on add short code replacement and I'm gonna have this one this time for February the 9th and we'll have this posted only to Pinterest. And you've got the editor down here, guys, and you can add whatever you want to this as well, should you wish, but um, obviously, oops, I don't want to do that. Okay, we can come down even further and we can say we want this to be added at a later date as well. And if you want, you can even have them um, added so that they go out on exactly the same date as well, guys. Um, so let's say March the 9th this time and this time we want them syndicated to all three. And I'm going to click on submit. Okay, so what happens, guys, is when I publish this post now, these short codes are not going to show on our main site. Okay, when we syndicate this post, then these, um, as long as you're syndicating through the system itself, because it allows you to syndicate as well, then these short codes are not going to be showing on your social sites. Instead, what's going to happen, guys, is um, 
when these dates kick in, um, then the content that should be shown here, which you can see matching down here, guys, with the short code. So this content here will be added in position of where this short code is here, guys, in exactly the same format as when we actually copied it from down here, guys. OK, when it comes down to the date for this one here, then this will be replaced um, with the content that's added in the matching one down here, guys. But what happens at the same time is let's have a look down here. What we've done, we've actually added this post now guys and we've set it to automatically update all the way until March we can continue to do this and continue to come here continue to add more to it as well guys and continue to schedule parts of this post to be updated at a future date but what we're doing at the same time guys is we're doing two things um, we're publishing the post today for example and just to let you know this actually works on older posts as well guys um, but if this was a new post, we're publishing the post today, okay? And then when it comes to one month time, 9th of December, um, we're gonna add some more content to this post. So we're making a change in the document so Google's going to see that change and we're going to get a freshness boost from that. And at the same time, we're going to syndicate the post again to Tumblr, Twitter and Pinterest. And we're going to create new pages on Tumblr, Twitter and Pinterest that are going to link back to our post. So we're creating new documents that are related to our main document and we're going to get a related document boost a freshness boost from those documents or from those new posts that are being, being created as well, guys. So this is on 9th of December, 2017. And then again, in January, automatically, we're gonna get another boost, guys. We're gonna have content changes inside of here, guys. And then on the 9th of January, we're gonna get them syndicated to Tumblr and Twitter. And then again, if we come down here, guys, this time on the 9th of February, we're gonna get new content added. And this time it's gonna get syndicated only to Pinterest. And then again, on the 9th of March, uh, we're going to get new content added and it's going to be syndicated to Tumblr, Twitter and Pinterest. So anyway, guys, this is only one of the benefits of our latest WordPress plugin. We've got many more benefits to this plugin and I promise you guys there's many more benefits. This was only one of the benefits of this um, and I'm going to be outlining those benefits in my next video. So do keep an eye out for those uh, for that video, guys, um, and feel free to leave your comments on this post. We're going to actually have several licenses that we're going to be giving away um, to several lucky winners guys and all you have to do is leave a comment below this video uh, to win one of those licenses um, and this is like like I mentioned guys only one of the many features um, that are um, included in our latest plugin um, so keep a lookout for your emails guys for our next video I think you're gonna really enjoy um, some more some more of the features that we have um, that I have to outline for you so thank you very much and I really hope you enjoyed this